It is the first weekend, a weekday rather, of service for new bus operator Tower Transit. Commuters reported smooth rides, though it will take time to see if this can be maintained. The UK-based company launched nine of its 26 bus routes today. And to get a first-hand experience, our reporter joined our regular transport analyst on his morning commute. It's about 7 a.m. and Professor Lee De Hong is heading from his home at Hume Avenue to his office at the National University of Singapore. His commute involves a ride on bus number 173, now run by new operator Tower Transit. So, Prof, can you share with us um, what was your experience like taking you know, bus number 173 under the previous operator in the past? In the morning peak hours, the, the gap is uh, fairly consistent because people will have to take this to school to the office yeah so with the new operator I would expect they can do the same or even better can shorten the waiting period at this point of time if we use the my transport RSG, then we will notice at this particular bus stop the bus is actually arriving however the next will uh, still take another 17 minutes so I think the tower transit they may have the different kind of the bus holding strategies uh, to maintain the gap as we got on board, Professor Lee noted that the bus wasn't as crowded, probably because it's the school holidays. But other than that, there were few differences. It was the bus used previously by SMRT. I think even some of the logo outside this still remain the same. You notice that at the front, the driver has certain tools that is able, he's able to use, like a telemetric system where yes. it monitors how they brake or turn, yes. as well as the fleet management system, which allows them to talk to their yes. control center. Yes. How do you think this will help? The different companies, they have the different strategies in providing the untie and the regular service. So uh, that will be the part uh, it may need to take a bit of time uh, for everything to stabilize, for the drivers to be familiar with the system, and also for the, uh, for the passenger to get used to the pattern. It was a smooth ride to Professor Lee's destination at Beauty World, and he noted while some teething problems are to be expected, the challenge for the new operator would be maintaining the regularity of its services in the long run. Tower Transit is the first to operate under a new bus contracting model where the government owns the bus infrastructure and operators are paid a fee to run services. Under its contract, Tower Transit will operate 26 bus services in the west of Singapore and on Sunday it launched nine of these bus routes which operate from this interchange here in Bukit Batok. Now the rest of its services will be launched in two phases next month and will operate from two other bus interchanges in Jurong East and Clementi. For its first working day, Tower Transit said it is running 94 buses, up from 62 on Sunday. Commuters we spoke to said the ride with the new operator was not very different. It's a new operator actually. It was, oh my, okay. I, I didn't actually notice that. I hope they maintain this. In terms of frequency, in terms of, of safety, of course. Maybe because it's the first time that they are driving it, so they're more cautious, they're more s slower than the normal ride that we have. Huh? The waiting time is about the same too, it's quite fast. When its services are fully rolled out, Tower Transit will operate about 360 buses.